Okay, I want to do something else real quick on the fly. Um, the only way to set the, the picture in there is to do, um, to click that button and set the picture property. But a lot of times in a UI it's great to have stuff like drag and drop. You can just drag an image on there and do that. Well, if you've done that in WX Python, you know that's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to do. So, let's hope I can remember how exactly it's dropped file, I said file or files, oh well, handler equals self. Okay, so what I'm telling the, um, I think it's singular. If I not, we'll get an error, but drop file handler. So you're setting a property on that image control. If somebody drops a file on me, who handles it? And self means that this form class will handle it. So we can go down here and just add a new method as a handler and say def. It's just called process and we get a file list. It'll be a list of all the files drop. Uh, what we want to do is just say self dot... You need, you need the self argument too. Oh, thank you. You didn't want to see me crash and burn? Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> file list alright so all we do is we take the first item in that list and set the picture property to that save it and let's go back and try running that again oh, gotta go up two, there we go okay so instead of doing that load image let me just go to my pictures folder Scrunch that down a little. And there we go. Drag and drop, the image loads. There's Paul and his kid. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, just, you know, to keep uh, my side of the woods happy, there's me and my wife. I have one of uh, me when I tried programming in Perl. <laughs> All right. All right, so anyway, there we go, that's even weirder. <laughs> Thank you, photo booth. All right, but anyway, there we go. That's, that's not a lot of code for a lot of functionality. And that's what I meant by you don't have to debug this stuff. I mean, there's so many places where when I was writing these classes that I screwed myself up. I mistyped something here, I forgot a step there. Well, I fixed it, and now once that's fixed, it works. And so when you use a Dabo D image class, it w just works. So, all right, let's go on to grids. Well, we're also going to do a little bit of data. Anybody here actually use databases in a desktop environment? Wow. I think I asked that a couple of years ago, and I think there were three people. Everyone else, you know, it's all web now. So, you know, I. I not, I don't mean to diss web development, I think it's great, but it's just amazing how many businesses out there run on local homegrown desktop applications. You know, small businesses write them in-house, big businesses hire, you know, an IT department and they write it, but locally most businesses are run on some sort of desktop app. I mean, for the last decade or so I've been making my living doing Visual Fox Pro apps, there's a lot of companies out there running VB apps or Delphi apps or other uh, desktop GUI apps. So, all right, let's get to some data then. I'm going to guess that the internet is going to hold up. Let's bump that up a little bit. All right, this is a, our wrapper of Patrick O'Brien's uh, pie shell. We just call it D shell. That's our standard is that lowercase d, and then we can claim it's our class. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set up some connection information. So I'm going to say CI. In our DB module, we have a dconnect info class. And I'll do, uh, let's see, DB type. I'm going to connect to the public MySQL database on our server. And let's just see how good my typing is under pressure. Uh, 
Is it user or username from Andy Dustman here? Oh. <laughs> All right, uh, just say user equals web user and plain text password. Get rid of that. All right, and if I type everything right, create a connection object, passing in that, that information, and, neither, and it connected. So we got a real connection object. So what I can do in here is say, uh, get a cursor object from that connection, and it's just get Dabo cursor, simple enough. We use the, we take the cursor that the DB API objects um, return from their data source and we mix in our own classes so we get stuff like SQL Builder capabilities so you can just add expressions, uh, you know, add group buys, requery and all that stuff and it handles stuff a little nicer. You don't have to do the fetch, it just automatically does that and you get a data set to work with. So what I'm going to do is say, tell it to execute. And let's do select star from zip codes. Get all the ones up upstate New York that start with one four. Okay. That's going out to my server and came back, I don't know if you can read that, 497 records. Okay. So I got this cursor now that, that's holding 497 city, state, zip code type things, and I'd like to see what it looks like, okay? Now, if I have to create a, some sort of display for that, a grid pops into mind as that would be a nice thing to do. So I'm gonna bore you all to death with creating a WX Python grid on the fly. Now, I'll do, uh, I'll do it a little easier. We, in our UI module, we have a command called browse. And we can just pass that cursor in, and it'll take a second while it does all its magic, but there we go. Okay, we got a grid, and this isn't just any old grid. This is a grid that has things like uh, sorting by clicking on the headers. You know, I can do that, I can rearrange, drag that column over there if I wanted, and it'll do all that on the fly, okay? That wasn't a lot of code, was it? Okay, so I can close that. Now if you notice in the bottom, it also passed in, it, it returns some values. When you do the browse command, it returns two things. It returns the form, that browse form, a reference to that, and a reference to the grid itself. So you can do stuff like, if I did that again, let me, I could say fg equals, oops, Okay, so I got my grid here. Let's sh shrink this down. And I can just say something like g dot uh, row color even equals yellow again. And when I go back to that form, so you have just properties of all these things. So you can set all that stuff up. I have a lot more I was going to show you on that, but I just want to move on a little bit because I've got about six more minutes till we get questions, so let me show you something else.